Oh, welcome to Robin's Realm Readings. Hi, this is Robin doing a reading for the week for everybody. I'm going to be bringing a Sacred Destiny reading to you guys um, with along with some tarot and a Romance Angel card. So let me go ahead and say thank you for being here. Subscribers, members, newcomers, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I am here to bring encouragement to you, if for nothing else, through my voice, through my heart, and through my intentions. I really wish the best for all of you. I know that we're dealing with interesting times, but we still have a heart. We still have our life. We still have many promises ahead of us. And I'd like to tap us into those promises to stay encouraged and look at love in a different way. Um that it, it springs from you. And so let's take a, just take a guidance look. Uh, thank you, Spirit, for being with us and for giving us a whole new um, impression on life every day, helping us to come overcome, to be strong. Guide us into this, guide me into this reading, Holy Spirit. Guide me into this reading for everybody. Aries through Pisces, let me get you your encouragement reading. My sacred bell clears my air, and I've been burning some sage, too, so that when I do tap in for you guys, I'm channeling. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate all that you do for me. Um, thank you for your gifts, your love, your subscriptions, your kindness. I wish you mercy in everything you do. I wish you healing in any way that you probably need it. I wish you wellness in all aspects of your lives. Love, your heart. Hold on a minute. I gotta do something because this court's making the camera jump. Okay, so this is for Aries. Let's start with Aries and go to uh, Pisces and let's see how this works. If you'd like to reach me for a reading, you can go to my website. It's listed below. If you've already had a reading with me, remember, if you came in at a good price, you'll always get that price. So you'll have to remind me, I'm spreading out, branching out, and spending time with a lot of people. And I love you all very much. You're very sacred to me. I bring you the real deal. I don't toy around. If I see something that needs a warning, I'll give it to you. This is the um, energy of Reiki that I use when I'm reading. I can see other things than what's actually being just being shown. So let's see what they give us for Aries. Okay, they're shuffled. Heartstone, Aries. Let me cut them. This is for you guys. Okay, so let's go. You have new beginnings. Look at that, it's beautiful. New beginnings for Aries. I'll read that to you once I lay down all the cards and we'll read the whole story. Tell me what the main energy is for Aries this week in love and or life. However you want to present it, Spirit. You are the master of all this energy. What do you see for Aries in general for this week? What's showing up for them? King of Wands in reverse. New beginnings. Some of you have turned your backs on, on someone. Or you just decided that you wanted to go in a new direction. What else, please? King of Pentacles is in reverse as well. This is a power. This is a power move between a fire sign and an earth sign. This is a complete surrender. Oh, my goodness. Let me have one more, please, to clarify why these two are in reverse relative to a new beginning. Uh, three kings are on the table for you guys. I've never seen such a thing in my life. Three kings. The king of principle and logic, spiritual enlightenment, common sense, the king of money, finance, family, um, material wealth, the king of passion and growth and energy and uh, ambition, all in reverse. Let's clarify. What the hell? So give me this. Give me the message. Why did Why did Aries have this with this new beginning? I need to know. Wow, Aries, what's up? 
magician, you're completely reconstructing your whole uh, self from the beginning to the end. See, number one, this is you. So you're going to be manifesting a brand new reality. It is coming. I'm wondering, look here. The sword, king of swords. The wand, king of wands. The coin, king of coins. I wonder if the king of cups will come out too. Holy crap. You guys are going to have to watch this. I'm just going to put up, put this, watch this, because I've never seen anything like this for you guys. Here we go. One more please to explain this. Hangman. So, I think you put your hearts in a place where you can completely reconstruct your environment and your life is what I'm seeing. Let me have a romance angel card. Hangman is Pisces energy too. And it could be for those of you on the cusp, just making a complete new change. Let me see. Romance Angel says, religious factors, there's change, things changing in your life. There may be differences between people. Let's see what your message is on new beginnings. All right, your message, Aries, is, can you see this good? Okay. My eyes are wonky. Your life is expanding in profound and wondrous ways. New experiences and ideas are emerging. Vitality and wide open opportunities are at hand. Seize the day. This is a perfect time to begin that new project or give birth to an emerging idea. Timing is everything and the time is now. Anything and everything is possible. Good fortune awaits you. The rising sun is the ultimate symbol of the young of the Yang Principle, expanding power and activity. You are radiant and luminous. There's a glow within you that can be felt by all. I find that ironic, considering you have all these kings in reverse. What in the hell? They should be upright. I think you need to find yourself. You need to come from the heart space. Find your passion. Find your principle. Find your abundance. You have to go searching for it, and then you manifest it. You have to go within. Hang man. Take spiritual time out. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and your spiritual path. Some of you are on a brand new track spiritually, and this is why that's happening. Another card. Give me a moonology for Aries. Hold your vision. Hold your vision, Aries. It's going to happen. You just have to get yourself in alignment with it because you have this new beginning you're manifesting while you're holding your vision in place and you're not allowing these energies to overrule you. Yay! Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Bless your week. I know you're going to have a good one. Wow, awesome. All right, Taurus, thank you for being here. Aries, I love you. Sending you joy. I hope you receive it. My knees just got chills. That always tells me Holy Spirit is helping. Thank you so much. All right. Taurus, your message is about blessings. <clears throat> your message is about blessings. Look. Look. Oh, springtime renewal. Let's see what this tarot says to you, though. Tell me the energy for Taurus, please. Getting over... Really incredible burdens. Wow, that's good. Okay. Taurus, you've really put in a big fight. You've had a long journey. You've, you've spent a lot of your energy trying to make it and to get to this one wand that you've been wanting. So you're kind of beat up over it, so you're tired. You're tired. Spirit sees that. They're giving you a break. <clears throat> They're telling you, though, that you have to work on yourself and you have to work on your love. Work on um, focus. Focus on this one wand, this one thing during this week, all right? Focus on this one thing during this week. Give me a clarifier. Clarifier. Judgment, renewal, new beginning. Taurus. Taurus, love. Love message for Taurus. Getting to know one another. A new relationship. Blessings. Favor. Oh, I love that so much. I'm so happy for you. All right. Let me see. Where's my book? So your blessings are about the promise. 
I'm going to read these as promises, okay? Because I've been, I sleep with my Bible by my bed. I have other things that I believe. I'm a Reiki master. Um, I am also have, I'm very Buddhist by nature in a lot of ways. Not completely fully. I'm, I don't believe that you should be, I think you should be well-rounded. I don't think you should be, I'm this or I'm that. I think you should be everything if you can. But that's just me. All right, so the blessings come from a holy place for you, Taurus. Immense blessings are emerging into your life from those in spirit. Angels, guides, and spirit guardians are watching over you. Angelic intervention is available to you. Be open to the voice of the divine. Messengers are all around you. You are protected. You are safe. Have faith that your path is guided. Watch for signs that spiritual be beings are present. Profound healing energy is flowing to you in wondrous ways. Refreshing, replenishing energy is filling your life. Yay! That would be an answer to my prayers. Thank you, Taurus. That's for you, my beloveds. May you have a wonderful week. Okay, Gemini. Hi, babes. Hi, Geminis. How are you guys? Very lovely people. I love you very much. Blessings, blessings. Here we go. What's the divine message, healing message, and promise for Geminis this week? What is the sacred destiny for Gemini this week? Wow. Trust. Did you see it? Popped right out for you. Trust. All right, let me have the tarot cards that go with it, please. If I can only do... Um, Aries to Leo that's what I'll do it depends on my timeline because my, my phone only records so much alright look at all that beautiful glowing purple oh man it's gorgeous my new tablecloth is so gorgeous here we go Gemini feeling left out in the cold needing to trust also two fives some of you are going through hell I'm sorry, my beautifuls. There's a message for you, though. Someone has a... You feel abandoned in some way. Might be financial. It might be someone put you out for someone else. It might be you put yourself out because you did not want this. You didn't want to be in competition. You don't want to have everybody's word on every little thing in your business. You don't want people in your business. You don't want people to tell you what to do. You don't, and you don't want to be part of this gossip clan, right? That's what I'm hearing. I didn't want to be part of the gossip clan, so I took myself out of it. Wow. I don't know. It could be love. It could be, you know, because love is very important. It is what, it's our center. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs, safeguard your heart because out of it are the sources of life. Remember that. Here we are. What is the deal with this? Clarify this five of coins and five of wands. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy for you guys. Leo, not feeling very strong, needing trust, clarify. Tower moment happened. Oh my God, you guys, I'm doing special readings this week. If you'd like to look at your life and see if there's some more encouragement for you, I'm going to find it, okay? And uh, give me a second, one more clarifier. Uh, it caused you to not have peace of mind. So some of you are in a place where you need help. You really need help. Here's a star. Come to help you. I brought it on. Thank you, God, for leading me to that. All right, babes, look. This is your message, Gemini. Whatever's happening is, is happening for a reason. And I think some of it is selective. I think you, you let something happen. You let the tower happen. I think you did so that you could find your healing. Romance says, yes, religious factors are involved. Someone didn't believe in you, or you didn't believe in them. Someone got in the way. Someone let their faith get in the way. Pisses me off. The trust message for Gemini. My beautifuls. This is a powerful and important card to receive, even when things seem parched or not fruitful. A deeper energy speaks of the power of your inner knowing. Meditate. Trust those nudges from the universe. Your celestial advisors are close now. 
you're now open to receive some of the more impo most important messages of your life through your intuition. Your intuition is spot on, so trust it. And even if there are some areas of your life that seem lackluster, know that other areas are being fertilized for a resplendent future. So have faith and know that there is a higher purpose. Look at this. Gemini. So if you're going through this and you need support, I would love to help you. All right? Thank you, guys. Love you. Blessings if you're going through that. Um, I, I'm sorry. I don't know that that's going to be for everybody. But I do want you to know that you have to trust. Okay? So let's get to our Cancers. Hi, Cancers. Thank you, Gemini, for being here. You're my booze. I love you. I hung out with my little, my little Gemini baby last night. He's 18 months old now. And he's just the cutest damn little dude in the world. <laughs> Ooh, what did they give you? Security. Cancers. Security. What is the message to go with that security for Cancers, please? What is the message for Cancers on this? For this whole week, please. What is security about for Cancer? Home. Stabilizing relationship. Meeting someone that is actually your equal. Meeting someone on the same frequency as yourself. Being happy. Finding a time to celebrate. Feeling secure in those four walls. Finally getting over someone leaving. Eight of Cups. Maybe not wanting to leave now. Maybe you're secure. Wow. Okay. So this tells me you finally found some security. Somehow, some way. This one popped out. Yes, it has to do with work and what you're putting your energy into, Cancers. Um, yeah. Eight and eight. I don't want to leave right now. I found what I'm looking for. I'm secure here. I'm good. And I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on this relationship. Holy Spirit, show me what love is for them. The love message is honeymoon. Wow, one more, please. And it's safe for you to love. So, yes, they've opened up the gates of heaven so that you can find your love. The trust security message for you. One moment. While I find it. Okay, your message, Cancers. I'm going to do all the way to um, Virgo, and then I will take Libra through Pisces in a second reading. All right? Part one, part two. So you're part of part one. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. All right. Cancer, you're safe and protected no matter what is occurring in your life. You are in safe hands. Those in the realm of spirit are watching over you. You can relax and let go. And once you've taken measures to protect yourself and those you love, such as making sure everyone has their seatbelt on in the car, making sure your insurance is paid on time, <clears throat> or replacing the filter on your heating unit, then let go. If you have been hypervigilant lately, take a break. Relax. Know that all is well. You can turn it all over to the Creator. There you go, Cancer. That's your divine message. And you are being seen and loved. Wow. That was good. Well, thank you, Cancer. I love you very much. Blessings to you. All right. Let's go to Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What y'all doing? Love you. Create tricks. I think today I'm going to spend time with my Leo best friend after I do these readings. I want to give you guys something and keep you in the loop. Let you know that you are love fulfillment. The lucky card. This is a card of luck. Wonderful. Can't wait to see what the energies are for you. Leo, my beautifuls. How are you? Here we go. What's going on with this fulfillment? What is being fulfilled here? Please, Spirit, show me. What is being fulfilled for Leo for this week? What is being fulfilled for Leo this week? The week of the 7th. What is being fulfilled for Leo for the week of the 7th? Here we go, Leo. Oh, memories. Someone may be returning 
to offer their cup to you. Someone, childhood memories may be coming up. Oh, uh-oh, the tower. But guess what I think? I think this is a good tower, though. This is a good tower. How do I know? Because it's with this. The tower doesn't always have to be destruction. What it can mean is it can mean a restructure. Something had has to stop so something new can be rebuilt. And people can stop in their tracks and see what's going on. You're going back into nostalgia now. And it was because of a tower moment. Or the tower moment is someone coming back, shocking you with an apology and a love offer. Oh, maybe you don't want it, but we'll see what that fulfillment is. Leo, someone rising, Venus, what's happening? Wow, give me a second. Let me shuffle these bad boys. Okay, Leo, booze, what's up? What's with the tower? The tower is about heavy burden. You just put down a burden. You've been carrying it so long. You knew it was going to happen sooner or later. But you got this one wand of energy here. So you have this ambition still. And you're not going to give it up. But your guard is up. Okay? Clarify the Six of Cups. There's that tower. The past. Yeah, the past is not coming back. Holy shit. What does this mean? It means somebody's up in their head worried that they don't have the strength to come back after being left out in the cold. There's there's love, but it's in reverse. Someone doesn't trust themselves. They're, they're focusing on their work. Oh, my God. Tell me what this is. I'm here to do readings if you'd like one, my darlings. Here we go. Romance Angels, what's going on with Leo? Well, there's romantic feelings. Somebody's remembering somebody from the past, and they're in the process of healing family issues. Holy crap. I don't even know what to say to you guys. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Um, wow. Just let me see what fulfillment says to you. What are you fulfilling? What is being fulfilled for my Leos? Because this is crazy. You got the tower twice. And they're both relative to this. Memories of the past. Something happened. Someone lost someone, a childhood friend or a lover. Or someone from a long relationship. Something's gone. Something you're remembering with fondness. But you're also remembering how it ended. Right. And then the proof that it ended well, it's because it was a heavy burden on you. You just couldn't take it anymore. So, we have Leo's in reverse. So, it puts you in the upside down. It puts you in a place where you had no choice but to find fulfillment, to find your strength. So, you're here finding your strength in whatever this is, okay? I'm going to put her on top of there, upright. It puts you in a place where you had to come out of the cold. Or you put someone in the cold. You're like, out. You got to go. You got to go. That's what I hear. You got to go. And so you, uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, um, puts you in your head. Caused you to feel heartbroken. You pulled your heart back. You pulled your heart back. You put you in your head. You're like, Jesus, man. This is not good. This is not good. I don't know what to do next. I don't know what to do next is what I hear. This is a high priestess. She knows everything, though. She knows these things. She knows when to be quiet. She knows when to act upon something. She knows ancient secrets. She knows. And you're not trusting yourself. Please trust yourself. Please get busy. Work on yourself. Work on your projects. Focus on what makes you happy. Make your money. Come out. There's peace of mind here, but it's in reverse. So many of you are up in your head over this happening. Still, you're really feeling it. Your feelings are real, and they're worth exploring. But before you do that, you have to deal this, with this energy. Love life benefits for giving your parents. It's not just your parents. It's people in general letting you down. Oh, my God. So fulfillment message for Leo. 
Fulfillment is at hand, no matter what is occurring in your life. Put your attention on what is splendid, what is pleasurable, and luscious. Find bliss in the moment, Leo. Love fully, deeply, without hesitation. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with people, experiences, and places that give you delight. Let go of people and things that don't feel empowering and that drag your energy down. That would be this, right? That would be this, dragging your energy down, no doubt. So you had to do this, okay? You no longer need to put the, put the needs of others ahead of your own needs. And if you've had any health issues, a ripe peach represents a return to better health. Savor your life with gusto and with grace. Experience and embrace life in all of its perm permutations. And if you want to conceive a baby or a new project or start a new relationship, this card is an excellent omen for a great outcome. How beautiful. I'm going to pull a moon oracle because your reading is so tough. It says to step out of your comfort zone and believe in the impossible. Yes, you are creating. You're co-creating new things. I'm extremely happy for you. Do it. You do this. You're doing it for yourself. You're wonderful, Leo. I love you. Thank you for being here with me. I hope you found encouragement in this. I really do. Um, it is no stranger to go through trials, tribulations. It is... Strange for us to have to learn to revamp our hearts again and resettle our minds and, and go forward. Let's see what the wish, the sacred destiny is for Virgo. Thank you, Leos, for being here with me. Please contact me if you need me. I'm right here to read into your energy to find out what great things are going to happen for you. All right? Or what you can do to change things. Yes, yes, love energy. Yes, I'm here to give you love. Contact me. Thank you. This is for Virgo now, and then I will be t doing a second reading for Libra through Pisces. Here we go. Virgo, what is the message for Virgo, please? Show me spirit. What is the message for Virgo? Simplicity. Look. Every time I see this, you know what I think? I think of that scene in Forrest Gump when he's sitting on the park bench waiting for his son. That cute little Haley Joe Osmond. <laughs> and that and that little feather just keeps flying around. It's, it's, it's an analogy of lightness. So, Virgo, what's going on this week for you? Let's take a look. I pulled some tarot cards to go with this. Thank you, Spirit, for your beautiful energy. Virgo, I feel so good for you right now. I'm grateful. Work is very good. You're going to be doing very good. You're going to be productive financially. If you're working on a relationship, it looks good. Tell me the accompanying energy, though. Page of Swords. So you've got you've got this communication happening um, and work. So I see you guys just throwing yourself into work. If this is a relationship, um, somebody's watching you or you're watching them. In one way or another, tell me what to clarify these two together, please. The World Card. You're creating a whole new environment for yourself. You've been through a very hard thing, and you've allowed yourself to go through it with grace. You've opened up. You're dealing with the worlds. I think you, some of you are going to be traveling. I think some of you may be traveling this week or maybe extending your your grace, uh, your work um, to others. And the, Aces, the Page of Swords reminds me that though you're working on many projects and you're doing very well, um, you also need to keep it simple. Romance for Virgo. Okay. Watch out. Somebody may be in your environment that isn't true to you. False mask. Yep, that can happen. Even in your best of times. Most especially in your best of times. Stay optimistic about your love life. Let me cover this for you, Virgo. Simplicity. The message for Virgo for this week is to find a sacred simplicity and have clarity in your life, 
Do only what matters. Release everything else. <clears throat> Simplify your life. Scan all areas and clear both internal and external clutter. Rest, rejuvenate, and only participate in what is truly important to you. Relinquish everything else. Do not delay. Do it now. When your life is cluttered with objects, relationships, time, constraints, and emotions, there is no room for spirit. There is too much static and too much stuff to connect to your soul. The smallest amount of clutter clearing can make the biggest difference. Wow. Uh, so don't fool yourself. Stay optimistic and get active. Get busy cleaning up things, changing things, reinventing yourself, and communicating what it is that you need and be optimistic. My beautifuls, that's for everybody all the way from Aries to Virgo. Thank you for being here. Hit that like button. Show me some favor. I will show you favor. Thank you. Blessings and namaste. Bye, guys.